Welcome to the new segment of the grade tenth. We are discussing economics part. In that, today we are going to discuss about uh, question answers of this chapter. The first question is: What do you understand by globalization? Explain in your own words. This is a four marks question. Globalization means. integrating the economy of a country with the economies of other countries under condition of free flow of trade capital and movement of a persons across borders it includes the first point is increase in a foreign trade second one export and import of techniques of production third one flow of capital and finance from one country to another another fourth one migration of a people from one country to another let's move for the second question second question is how was the reasons for putting barriers to foreign trade and foreign investment by the indian government why did it wish to remove these barriers answer answer is you can write like this the indian government had to put barriers to foreign trade and foreign investment to protect domestic producer from foreign competition especially when industries had just begun to come up in the 1950s and 1960s at this time competition from inputs would have been a death below to growing industries hence india allowed imports of only essential goods in new economy policy in 1991 the government wished to remove these barriers because it felt that domestic producers were ready to compete with foreign industries it felt that foreign competition would in fact improve the quality of goods produced by indian industries this decision was also supported by powerful international organization third question third question is how would flexibility in labor laws help companies the answer you can write like this 
flexibility in a labor laws will help companies in being competitive and progressive by easing up labor laws company hands on negotiating wages and terminate employment depending on market conditions this will lead to an increase in the companies competitive in c next fourth question what are the various ways in which mnc's set up or control production in other other countries answer you can write like this multinational corporations set up their factories or production units close to markets where they can get desired type of skilled or unskilled labor at low costs along with other factors of production after ensuring these conditions mnc's set up production units in the following ways first one the jointly with some local companies of the existing country second point by the local companies and then expand its production with the help of modern technology third point they place orders for small producers and sell these products under their own brand name to the customers world wide fifth question why do developed countries want developing countries to liberalize their trade and investment what do you think should the developing countries demand in return so answer like this you can write development countries what developing developed countries want developing countries to liberalize their trade and investment because then the mnc's belonging to the developed countries can set up factories in less expensive developing 
nations and thereby increase profits with lower manufacturing costs and the same sale price in my opinion the developing countries should demand in return for some manner of production of domestic producer against competition from imports also charges should be laid on mnc's looking to set base in developing nations so remaining part we have discussed five question and answers remaining part we'll discuss tomorrow you can check it out you can refer 10th grade ncert textbook thank you